Hello, my name is Ryan Harper, and today we're speaking with two people who created a movie right here in North Carolina. And uh, do y'all mind doing me a favor, introducing yourself to the audience? Sure. I'm Tyler Jean. I play the actor Logan. Uh, I'm Jake Robinson. Uh, I directed and was the cinematographer for the movie Wendigo. Great. Thank you so much. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people aren't like here in North Carolina, probably in the movie business like that. So, can y'all do me a favor and tell me how you came up with the idea for the Wendigo and uh, how it came to be? Uh, so, I've uh, I've always like done like videography work, and I've just done other people's projects and their weddings and commercials and. I've been doing filmmaking like for my own personal like short films since I was a kid. And so after I got confidence of like doing all these paid gigs, I'm like, I want to finally make my own movie. And uh, I've always loved the, the cryptid uh, Wendigo because uh, when I was a kid, I felt like I experienced a real one. Uh, I was like out in the woods playing and I heard like a woman's voice call to me in the woods and when I called back, I heard my own voice call back to me in the woods. Oh, that's, and, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so that was around when the internet wasn't around. Uh, it was like dial up. So mm -hmm. like when I got and looked it up, uh, people were saying like online that Wendigos can mimic voices and like lure you deeper into the woods. So mm -hmm. I personally feel like I've encountered one. So uh, I did a dumb thing by making a movie about it, and hopefully it doesn't make it come after me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, what was it like uh, being an actor in it, Tyler? Yeah, so this was fun. When uh, Jake reached out to me about the project, I hadn't ever heard of the creature before, and I, I wanted I was actually pronouncing it wrong, wrong as uh, Wendigo. And so uh, I, I learned some things and it was a sort of fun getting to the bottom and hearing why Jake wanted to do this movie when he reached out to me and uh, I was excited for it. And we went to work and got it done. Now, uh, for those who don't know, um, OK, so Tyler, you're an ECU grad. So what was it like? Did you go to school for acting or anything like that? Yeah, so that's a um, good question, Ryan. <laughs> so I went to school. I did two years of acting on the side, and I actually have a business degree from East Carolina. So my name is Tyler Jean Wisnett. I dropped the last name as part of the acting once I got further in. So that's how my friends and community would recognize me in uh, that sense. But I love the acting classes I took. I feel like the business degree really helps because it helps me sort of I already have the ability down to kind of sell myself as why I can do the best in any type of role that I'm presented. So um, what made y'all want to create this film in North Carolina? Because uh, I know shooting in the woods and having the right lighting because I saw some of the uh, the lighting uh, machines and things like that that you use. How difficult was it to film in the woods? Uh, it was it when it got dark, it got a little challenging, but that was the beauty of the genre kind of film we was doing with found footage. Uh, there's a lot more forgiveness because it's just somebody with a camera mm -hmm. out in the woods just filming. So we was able to be like forgive like the movie sins, like, oh, it wasn't proper lighting. Uh, right. We wanted to be as it could be uh but during the day the shots turn out beautiful and uh as a cinematographer i work i work really well with like natural light like especially with weddings and everything i don't have time to set up lighting right. i have to work with what i have so that was something i was able to bring in like i knew the day shots were going to look phenomenal um but the night shots is where it got challenging but it, it hit a lot of the woods and it made it more like uh anxiety inducing with like people running and like, you don't know what you're running into. And like, you might run into Tyler in the woods screaming at you. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Ryan, I do want to add that and give props to Jake because he, he had a big bright light. So I was yeah. watching it and I was like, that thing is bright. And then earlier when I saw it in person, when we were filming, I'm like, Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm going to go blind seeing this. And also we had, uh, we used different cameras. So we had a cell phone, 
what was it, Jake? Like a DSLR or something? And then Jake had his whole heavy duty one, which you see mm-hmm. him uh, run around with uh, yeah. throughout most of the movie. Now, uh, for for me, this being a camera nerd, I had to ask, what did you shoot this uh, film on? Did you use like a um, Black Magic Cinema or anything like that, or is it like a DSLR? And well, like uh, Tyler said, we had three different cameras. Uh, the opening shot uh, was filmed with uh, an Android phone from one of uh, our actors and editor, Austin Pigza. Uh, we used his phone for that uh, because we didn't want it to be like amazing quality. We wanted right. it to look like streaming yeah. and cell phone kind of like or the same kind of quality. And then half of the movie was filmed on like a Lumix G7, which is just like a typical DSLR. And then the big boy camera that Tyler referred to, it was a Z-Cam E2M4 cinema camera. Uh, we had some Sigma Prime lenses that we used with that. And I just used some uh, cheap newer lights from Amazon. But I I keep buying those lights because, like Tyler said, it was like a $15 light, but it lit mm-hmm. up those wood yeah. brightly. You know? I was like, don't let the price fool you. So. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, sometimes you have to do that little bit of extra research to make sure you get – uh, what you need, and sometimes it isn't like name brand or anything like that. As long as it does the job, you can do it. Yeah, and that's what I tell everybody. It was like, it's just, like, especially with filmmaking, just know what you have and just, like, perfect your skill with what you got. Like, just because, like, I got to have this camera, it's going to make my footage look way better. Right. No, it's like a lot more factor into it. You need better lighting, you need better mm-hmm. audio. You need to composition your angles and shots and framing differently. It's like uh, it's like Zack Snyder. He did an amazing short film on an iPhone right. that, that just shows that you don't need the best equipment. And so people were telling me I needed to get like a bigger red or something like that. And I'm like, no, I'm happy with what I got. And I'm pleased with the footage we got. So Now, um, where exactly did y'all film this? Because I know y'all filmed it in the woods, but where particularly in North Carolina? Uh, so we filmed it in King Creek uh, Campground in Waxhaw, North Carolina, uh, and uh, we were the first production to film on that property in like the last eight, nine years. I think the last production they had was Banshee and a Bachelorette, mm-hmm. uh, but they allowed us to rent the entire campground for next to nothing because we did it in the off season, mm-hmm. and we were such a small cast and crew, they allowed it, And but uh, it was just funny. Um, we left uh, the tent out there bloodied up that Tyler was using and some joggers was running through and they called the park rangers on mm-hmm. us and they rolled up. And so me and Tyler was like, Oh no, 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 no. It's fine. So, <laughs> it's not what it looks like. Type yeah. of thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. My last question is going to be this. Um, so it's about a, a streamer who gets lost in the woods and then it's friends trying to go find them. Um, what is something that you want people um, to know about making a film in North Carolina so they can go and check it out? Uh, make what you want to make uh, and just like keep your vision and don't listen to too many people because everybody will tell you you, need ha- you have to do this, you have to do this, which in reality, you don't have to. Every film and art is subjective. And so if you just keep to your vision and stick to your guns and but still have a collaborative effort because if it wasn't for all the actors and crew, I was a first time director and I'm still learning. And so if it wasn't for like veteran actors like Tyler and then, and then uh, Taylor Grace and Laura, I would have not known how to really like direct actors. And Tyler had a lot of great ideas and he had, he was had a blast with his character. And then me and Drew, one of the producers, we just, hit record and just let him do his thing. We was hiding behind a tree, just laughing the whole time. Uh, it's just, you got to have fun with it. And um, I would like to hear what Tyler's got to say too, because I feel like I'm yeah, talking to Yeah, him. I'll, I'll add on to that too. Uh, that, yeah, great, great job, Jake, with that answer. I would say the big thing is to start local, start on any budget, because we you can make something good or bad. You, you still got to make it, because that mm. that's where you learn from. And I would love to join the Hollywood greats uh ecu alum sandra bullock uh emily proctor nina repetta beth grant but you got you got to start somewhere so right. start here start now and and go for it mm. now um where can people find the win and go and where to stream it 
Uh, so you can find it currently now for free on Tubi. It just now also hit YouTube to rent or buy for overseas viewers. Uh, I've talked with the distributor. They're working on other platforms to get it in overseas as well because we signed a worldwide de deal. Uh, so we slowly are working at it, and all of the platforms are going live like every day. So uh, it should be on uh, Reveal, Flickster, um, Crackle, uh, a lot of other free streaming platforms uh, that, well, every view helps. So that, like, we try to get people to watch as much as you can because every view, it's like YouTube, it helps. It pays the actors. <laughs> and director. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, thank you so much for speaking with me about your movie and uh, can't wait to check it out. Yes, yeah, sir. Thanks, Ryan. Go Pirates. <laughs>